All right, this is Johnny Makovich. I've been on the force about two months now, um, and I'm about to do another R-rated movie bust. Uh, these are pretty routine, like four or five a night, uh, and I appreciate the perps behind this door, so I'm, I'm, I'm about to make a move. Uh, if anything happens, just stay behind me. I'll keep you safe. Just one swift karate chop to the clavicle, and they're done. So stay behind me. Uh, hey, Johnny. Uh, what's up, dude? <laughs> Nothing. Just on patrol. Uh-huh. Uh, I thought you were only on duty for Tuesdays. Let me ask you a question, Todd. Would Batman take a day off and just to let injustice run, run rampant through the streets of Gotham? Uh, I guess not. I'm... Let me ask you a question, Todd. What are you watching right now? Um, The Passion of the Christ? Well, last time I checked, yep, that movie's R-rated, Todd. What do you think you're doing? Uh, but, 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 but it's a movie about Jesus! He's resisting! <laughs> I've been an RA for a decent bit now. Ever since I started, crime on campus has dropped 96%. I'm very proud to be an RA. My father was an RA. My father's father was an RA. Every morning I wake up at 5.30 in the morning and eat three raw eggs for the taste. Then I get ready and go on patrol. I visit each dorm every day and see if there's anything out of the ordinary going on. You'd be surprised with how much crime is going on right under our noses. It's not LED. It's going away for a long time, don't <laughs> It's sometimes pretty difficult to catch all the evildoers on campus. Ever since my idea to open an investigation bureau on campus was shut down, I've had to do all the investigation work myself. You want to tell me why you're here today, Karen? I don't know, honestly. All right. So it's going to be like that. Fine. I'll play your game. Let's start with another question. You recognize this? Well, yeah, it's a Buffalo Wild Wings to-go box. Not just any Buffalo Wild Wings to-go box. This particular box was found in the lounge fridge last week. Do you recognize this specific box? I can't say that I do. Okay, well, I have sources that say otherwise. Fine, fine, it's my box. Good, glad we established that. Now, let's get to the real problem. You know what the real problem is? What's the problem? Could you write your name and today's date on this paper? Let's scare the checks out. No. That we know that we're capable of doing that. Why wouldn't you put it on the box? That's it, boys. I'm done with her. Tag him and bag him. My idea to have a prison on campus was also shut down. So, I've had to house prisoners in my own dorm for the time being. So what are you in here for? Fire code violation. You? Tax evasion. Oh. You know, sometimes my job requires me to go incognito, root out any troublemakers. I have a great disguise and an insanely high-tech hidden microphone that I use to record any confessions I might get from unsuspecting lawbreakers. Hey, do you like candles? Yeah, sure. Do you have any, like, in your room? No. Oh.
Hey, broski, do you have one of these? It's a 16 gauge extension cord. It's my favorite to plug things into. <laughs> Any of them in your room? We got one. That's a yes. We got one. Work close is clear. We got it. We got it. So, how was working with Johnny? Who? Johnny, the RA. He's not an RA. Wait, are you saying... Everything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing? My civic duty? Luke, you're gonna have to come with me. There's a lot of things that go into keeping this campus safe, but I gladly do them every day. I think I'm gonna be into this gig for a long time. <laughs>